Welcome back to the online class. In the last video, I have explained you about the male gametophyte, which is one of the pre-fertilization structure in flowering plants. So, in male gametophyte, we have discussed about the structure of stamen and microsporangium. So, today we shall discuss about the structure of pollen gram, which is a male gametophyte. This is the diagram showing microsporogenesis, which gives rise to microspore tetrad. So here in the diagram, we can see microspore mother cell, which is undergoing meiosis 1 and giving rise to microspore diode. After the formation of microspore diode, again it undergoes meiosis 2 and gives rise to microspore tetrad, where we get 4 microspores. So now let's discuss about its structure. Microspores are haploid, uninucleate and minute pores. Here, uninucleate means single nucleus. We can find single nucleus in the microspore and they are very minute, they are very small. Okay, Generally spherical in shape, 25 to 50 micrometers in diameter. So, its diameter is only 25 to 50 micrometers. So imagine like how small the microspores or the pollen grains are. They are like a powder or like a dust particles. Pollen grain has two layered wall that is exine and intine. So you can check the diagram where the layers of the pollen grain are shown. Exine is hard outer layer made up of sporopollenin. So the exine layer is hard and it is rough okay and also it is made up of what sporopollenin sporopollenin is a chemically inert polymer okay it is resistant to organic material which can withstand high temperature and strong acids and alkali as it is made up of sporopollenin so it can overcome high temperatures and strong acids or maybe strong alkali in the exine, we can also find germ pore. Okay, so in the germ pore region, the sporopollenin is absent. Intine, intine is a thin inner layer made up of cellulose and pectin. So the intine layer is thin compared to the exine, and they are very smooth. And also remember that this layer is made up of cellulose and pectin. Now let's see about the structure of a matured pollen grain. So in a matured pollen grain, it contains two cells. The first one is vegetative cell and the second one is generative cell as you can see in the diagram. Now let's see about each of the cell one by one. Vegetative cell, it encloses larger irregularly shaped nucleus and has abundant food reserve. So you can see in the diagram, the upper portion is the vegetative cell and the lower portion is the generative cell. So in the vegetative cell, we can see there is a large nucleus, okay, and they, they are what? Irregular in shape and also we can find reserve food in the vegetative cell. Generative cell, it is small and spindle shaped with dense cytoplasm and nucleus, it floats in the cytoplasm. So, as you can see in the diagram, the generative cell is smaller in comparison to the vegetative cell and it is what? Spindle shaped. Why? Due to the dense cytoplasm. As there is vegetative and generative cell, so we can call it as two-celled stage. Pollen grains are set at this two-celled stage in about 60% angiosperm. So, uh, in majority of the flowering plants, the pollen grains, they set at the two cell stage. That means when we get the generative and the vegetative cell. While in the remaining species, the generative cell divides mitotically and gives rise to two male gametes before pollen grains are set. So here, in the remaining 40% of the flowering plants, we can see that uh, the generative cell will divide mitotically and will give rise to two male gametes. So, we can say it is three cell stage because we have one vegetative cell and two male gametes. So, one plus two it is three. So, it is three cell stage. 
this means some angiosperms releases or set pollen grains at threshold stage and now let's see about the viability of a pollen grain here viability means existence of life how long the pollen grain will remain alive okay how long it will survive so the viability of pollen grains depends on temperature and humidity so it depends upon the temperature and the humidity okay so in this video we have discussed about the structure of a pollen grain and with this we have completed the male gametophyte where we have discussed about the stamen microsporangium and pollen grains so in the next video we shall continue with the female gametophyte so thank you